Hello also, in this video we will see how can we parse a JSON object using an IICS mapping. Now the scenario over here is, we will be storing our JSON object in a relational table called tempxml. Alright, so in our mapping, this, our source is a relational table which will have a JSON object. Now that JSON object will pass to hierarchy parser transformation. Uh, which basically pass that incoming object and output of that parser transformation will store in a target table called actor. So it's a relational target. Alright, so source is a relational table and target is a relational table and incoming JSON object will parse using hierarchy parser transformation. Now for this scenario to be executed, we'll first thing which we'll need is a JSON file itself, alright, or a JSON object. So for the sake of this video, I created that JSON object with the help of ChatGPT. So I just asked the question to ChatGPT saying, give me the JSON object for Amitabh Bachchan. So let me copy that JSON object and I will store that JSON object in a file. So let me open a notepad. All right, and I will save that big so there is a big p dot json all right and i'll save it so it's already there but i will just overwrite it okay so i have created my json file or a json object okay now let's go back to this uh, scenario as i said our source is not a flat file or not a JSON file, but it is a temp XML. So what are JSON object which we got from chat GPT? I will paste it here. Okay. So that's my JSON object. And as I said, I will be storing that JSON object in a temp XML. So that's my source table. And what I did is, the first column, call one in my table is a varchar max. So make sure if there is a huge JSON object, we need uh, to define our uh, column width or data type as varchar max. So that entire object will get accommodated. So let me run this in search statement. And if I go back, I can see the entire JSON object, all right, in column one. So let's create a mapping now. So I will go ahead, let me go back to data integration home mapping mapping create all right so let's save the mapping called m underscore json parser p a r s e r okay perfect now let's define the source as i said so our source is a relational table s underscore json for amitabh bachchan let's say or maybe i will give as actor okay it can have multiple json objects so for now it's i have just one object so on premise sql server and i will select the table <coughs> all right temp xml so i am importing the table and one thing which we have to modify, moment you import the table, in database we have defined the data type as varchar max, but if I go back, moment I imported that, the data type got changed to 255 string, which is incorrect. I mean, even if I try to run the mapping, my it, it will fail because it won't be able to import entire JSON object. It's definitely more than 255 characters. So if I, let's say, select star from let's say length of that it's see more than 1000 so definitely 255 characters not enough so what I will do I will just edit the metadata and what I will do let me define this so this is a native type I will define that and let's define as in text okay and maximum width is 8000 Perfect, I will save it. Okay, now uh, I guess that's all. And let, let's try to review that, right? preview that. So run preview. And let's see whether it pulls all entire JSON file or not. It's 
should not take this long I hope everything is okay 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 perfect all right so we have entire JSON object now so far so good now if I go back so we need to use hierarchy parser transformation in order to parse that incoming JSON object so I will add hierarchy parser transformation in between all right let's look at this hierarchy parser and php parse json actor all right so incoming fields it will be a call one we don't need remaining fields and input setting now definitely uh, it's a buffer input type because it's coming from prior transformation the schema so we'll have to define the schema because the parser has to pass based on something all right so based on so that schema we have to define so let me click select so there is one thing which we missed and I purposely missed that because the schema if I go back there is nothing which I can select all right so the connection so if I go back to new click on the component so this is the hierarchical schema which we'll have to define all right so if I click create here so there was a option to create new so let me do that way itself I will close this guy discard I'll create new so let's say hierarchical schema and uh, parse JSON JSON called actor all right and I will upload the file which I had downloaded for big P okay validate looks good perfect I will save this guy I'll close this guy and now I will select it I think I saved yeah perfect okay uh, let me go back to infield input field selection why it is not showing incoming fields okay I need to connect it again so incoming fields call one input setting we selected the schema and map the field perfect now field mapping now what all fields we are currently interested in so we'll divide this video in multiple parts and for now to keep this video very simple we'll just select first five fields okay so if I go back so this is my entire JSON objects like there are uh, these are at very top level but inside that like this children so it's again an array all right so this node no notable works it's not an array but if I go back it's again an array I mean it's a list right so similarly awards so there are multiple objects inside that awards it's an array so the JSON is not that simple it's a hierarchical so keep this video very simple I will just select first five fields in that JSON now these are not hierarchical fields these are very straightforward so for this video sake we'll keep it uh, we'll just select first five fields all right now I selected these for uh, these five fields now just one more thing I wanted to tell you if I scroll down right now if I go back so children as a, as I said like it's an array right it's an array and inside that there are two different JSON objects okay that's the reason why see it shows as children array and if I expand this guy it shows zero to many relationship that means what this JSON object can have one or uh, many children I mean one or many many children elements it's not a mandatory but if it is there it can have multiple elements in that or multiple objects inside that okay so we will we'll see that like how in may not be in this video but, but maybe in next video we'll see how how that correlates all right or and how we can uh, what our transformation will we need to use in order to pass that or store that into a target uh, relational table let's say but let's go ahead so I have selected just five five fields first five fields and those are not 
output uh, arrays right those are very straightforward things so output field so I will have those five fields in output this is all fine now I will select this into target I will save it and now in, at, in my target if I see I will give this target as TGT actor actor info let's say and see these are the incoming fields all these five fields we need to store in target table now we haven't created the target table yet so let me create that table so let me copy this guy so create table dbo dot actor info let's say I will have ID column created and uh, let's say it's a int identity column one comma one okay or maybe I will give actor ID uh, then I will have name column where care maybe let's say three or maybe 60 and then date of maybe I will just copy the exact same thing date of birth I will define that as where care and maybe where care let's say 50 place of birth now place of birth can be more so I will define that as where care let's say 300 then occupation where care let's say 300 and finally the spouse I will define this also as where care 300 all right let me execute this guy perfect so we have our target table created I will go ahead and import that table it's a relational table and actor info And let's map so I let me select the truncate target info so in case you want to load that multiple times so this one this field is auto populated so let me go and just select smart exact field map let's say perfect it all got matched I will save it and I guess our mapping is correct so let me run the mapping let's see what happens all right do my job says one row processed okay let's go ahead and validate that perfect all right so basically we successfully parse the incoming JSON object so if I compare the name is Amitabh Bachchan date of birth place of birth occupation and finally the spouse all right so Thanks for watching this video and in next video we'll see how can we parse remaining fields or remaining information of the same JSON object. Alright, so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.